This video is brought to you by 3, bringing you 4G at no extra cost. Hey guys, welcome to BTECT. It's Basil here with the Sony Xperia Z3 Compact. The Xperia Z3 Compact is the successor to the ever popular Xperia Z1 Compact. With a smaller chassis than the flagship, it still manages to offer some flagship specs. You've got on this device a 4.6 inch display. If we pull it in closer in frame, you can see that IPS panel with its triluminous X reality for mobile. Um, engine IPS tech working very, very nicely. It looks like a more superficial display on first impression than its predecessor. Around the design, you can see on the right-hand side, you've got that physical power button, a volume rocker, and a two-stage camera button. At the base, no buttons, but you do have a lanyard connector and what looks like an in-core microphone. On the left-hand side, you have a little flap. Again, this thing is waterproof. So um, all the ports, save for the 3.5mm headphone jack, will be underneath flaps. So that was a micro SIM slot to the base and at the top a micro SD card slot and micro USB connector. Up at the top is that 3.5mm headphone jack and flipping it around that camera, 20.7 megapixels. You've also got a Sony Insignia, an NFC contact point, a flash, and you can see we've got the Mandarin version. It does look really, really nice, available in traditional colors, but also a green and Mandarin. It's significantly better in the hand than its predecessor. We can actually pull the Xperia Z1 Compact into frame very quickly, and you'll be able to see the Xperia Z1 Compact has much bigger bezels. It's also got metallic corners, and they just feel a lot starker, a lot colder, and a lot less grippy. We've actually dropped hours. Moving that out, we can talk about what is inside this phone, and it really is flagship spec. Sure, you don't have the three gigabytes of RAM, but you won't really need it with that 720p screen. You've still got a 2.5 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor. If we take a look through the UI, we've got the traditional Xperia styling. One finger swipe down for notifications, two finger swipe down for um, quick toggles. Pull that up and you've got your applications tray. To the left of the apps tray, you've got these icons that let you you organize everything just as you like it. Naturally, there will be LTE on here. We expect to see CAT4 LTE as well. This will be available in the UK around autumn. As far as pricing goes, we're looking at probably around 400 or so pounds if the Xperia Z1 was anything to go by, but Sony hasn't confirmed anything just yet. But one thing we haven't mentioned yet is PS4 Remote Play. This will actually enable you to use the Sony Xperia Z3 screen as a remote display. So you can have your television off and wirelessly transmit the content of your PS4 to your Sony Xperia Z3. This is awesome and it works across the entire Z3 range. Sony recommends you do that within the house network that you're within um, rather than do it remotely, but it will actually work if you're accessing it remotely. It's worth noting also that PS4 feature isn't gonna hit the PlayStation and the Sony Xperia Z3 until November, despite the fact the release of the device is autumn. Hopefully you've enjoyed our hands-on. If you have, make sure you click that like button. If you like the channel in general, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.